Ladies and gentlemen, please join us for welcoming our class of 2026 also. Entering at this time are the university's president's cabinet, deans, and special guests. Let's hear from them, from the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Business, the College of Professional Studies, the College of Education, our ROTC military program, our sports program, and our graduate studies. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for Bowie State University's 2022 Fall Matriculation Convocation. Take a warm welcome for the 10th president of Bowie State University, Dr. Amita H. Bro, the first woman of Bowie State University. How about a big round of applause? Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our stars today. Bowie State University's Fall Matriculation Convocation, welcoming the class of 2026. Let's bring the house down. Let's hear it for all of our students, a part of the Bowie family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. President Bro, with your permission, I declare the fall matriculation convocation open. Please stand for the posting of the colors, followed by a moment of centering, and remain standing for the Star Sprangle banner and a performance of Lift Every Voice and Sing. Gentlemen, please remove your hats and remain standing for the posting of the colors, singing of the national anthem, and one stanza of Lift Every Voice and Sing.
As we start a new academic year and think about what the future will hold for another generation embarking on a new journey, it is fitting that we have a moment of centering to restore and replenish our inner resources so that we may stay resilient to life's demands. We ask that you use this time to center yourselves. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to welcome our provost, Dr. Carl Goodman, to the podium. Please be seated. Good morning to President Bro, to our President, Cabinet members, faculty, staff, students, alumni, special guests, friends, relatives, honorees of this morning, our class of 2026. I am Dr. Carl Goodman, your Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. And I am pleased to welcome you to the start of this 2022-2023 academic year. I want to take a moment to recognize some of our special guests on the platform today. First and foremost, I want to welcome our special guest, first gentleman, attorney Melvin Bro. Again, to our illustrious 10th president of Bowie State University, President Amitha Bro. Who is joined by the cabinet members. First, Ms. Karen Johnson Shaheed, Executive Vice President for General Counsel. Please stand. <laughs> Mr. Mike Atkins, Interim Vice President for Administration and Finance. <laughs> Dr. Brian Clemens, Vice President for Enrollment, Management, and Student Affairs. <laughs> Mr. Maurice Tyler, Vice President for Information Technology. Mr. Brent Swinton, Vice President for Institutional Advancement. <laughs> Mr. Clyde Dowdy, Vice President for Intercollegiate Athletics and Recreation. <laughs> Ms. Cassandra Robinson, Director of University Relations and Marketing. <laughs> Our convocation speaker, Ms. Chanel Turner, BSU alum of 2006. <laughs> Mr. Chui uh, Noloa, President of the Student Government Association. I'm sorry for slaughtering your name. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Michael McGee, President of the Graduate Student Association. <laughs> Our shared governance leaders, Dr. Taisha Birch, Faculty Senate Chair. <laughs> Mr. George Jones, Staff Counsel. Our remarkable deans, 
Dr. George Aqua, College of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Lawrence McNeil, Dean of the College of Business. Dr. Rhonda Jetter, Dean of the College of Education. Dr. Cheryl Blackman, Interim Dean of the College of Professional Studies. And Dr. Cosmo Wakoffer, Interim Dean of the Graduate Studies. We'll also give greetings to uh, Professor Latoya Wren, College of Arts and Sciences. <laughs> Dean Armani Jennings, Dean of our Students. <laughs> and lastly, our two soloists, uh, Miss um, Arena, I mean, Arena Mason, Aria Mason. And I also like to give special thanks to our other soloists. And give me one quick minute. Uh, Miss Kayla Adams. And I also like to give greetings to our band director, Mr. Billy Bennett. And to Lieutenant Colonel Kareem Fernandez. For our new students, I congratulate you on being and having achieved a place among our exceeding talented, enthusiastic, and diverse student body. You are now part of a remarkable university with a storied history of providing excellence in education. At Bowie State University, where you are in the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Education, the College of Business, the College of Professional Studies, or our graduate school, you will be nurtured and guided to achieve your legacy as a student and subsequent as a graduate of BSU. We are entering our third week of classes, and the workload may be seemingly overwhelming to some. However, to achieve such success, much is determined on you and how you devote your time to study. Don't wait until the last minute to get help. Seek out and identify many resources that are available to you. First and foremost, visit the library. Secondly, set up an appointment in an internal um, tutoring. Create study groups. Search the YouTube. Utilize smart thinking. And as my cousin Trish would say, if you don't know, ask Siri. <laughs> your college years are among the most important years of your life in defining your purpose and shaping your future. In calling my years as an undergrad, I used to tell many individuals that those were the most important four years of my life. The time you spend together as freshmen or as new students here at Bowie State University should not be taken for granted. Live to the moment and enjoy your academic years because this is truly a special time in your lives. As a new student, and more so for many who are freshmen, enjoy this year. It should be a year of excitement. Make the most of your time here at Bowie State University. Allow your experiences to start at the point of learning yourself, reinventing yourself, and exercise your independence. I challenge each of you to not only see yourselves as the best freshman class ever here at Bowie State University, you the class of 2026, but also seeing yourself in bringing fresh ideas, fresh energy, fresh motivation, fresh aspiration, fresh skill sets, fresh leadership, and fresh communication and networking skills. They say wisdom is power, but knowledge is power. The decision you make during your freshman year or during your first year here at Bowie State is going to be very pivotal for your future success. Never settle for anything less than excellence. Instead, always continue to grow learn and seek knowledge. I am counting on you as your parents and your family and your friends are to maintain the values that they instilled in you. I cannot say with any certainty where your future lies, but I'm here to stand today to say, I envision you as being the next generation of leaders. And I am confident that the support and guidance of our outstanding faculty and staff, that you will achieve the level of excellence and help you succeed beyond measures. 
And if I was to close with a phrase from one of the magnificent modern philosophers of your time, J. Cole, who states, I always feel like there is always two key ingredients when it comes to following your dreams. One, making something happen that the average person deems difficult. Honestly, if you truly believe it, that's step one. Second step is you know the hard work that goes along with it. Again, class of 2026, continue to be Bowie Bowl. At this time, I wish you best wishes on a productive and successful academic year. And lastly, Madam President, it is my pleasure to present the incoming and largest class for the fall 2022 here at Bowie State University. of 1,180 students. And for a total fall enrollment of 6,270. Thank you. Give yourselves another round of applause. That's remarkable. Thank you, Mr. Provost, and good morning, and welcome to the Fall 2022 Convocation at Bowie State University. I am indeed, I mean to bro, the very proud 10th president of Bowie State University, and I am so excited to have all of you here as we welcome the class of 2026 and open this Fall 2022 semester. I would also like to take some time out to thank a few folks who are here in the room. Uh, the provost introduced some of them to you, but I must, as always, thank my other half, who is behind me, beside me, in front of me, wherever he needs to be, and that is the first gentleman, Melvin Bro. Thank you, dear, for all that you do. Thanks to Mr. Billy Bennett leading our concert band. Give them another round of applause. Bulldogs, you have to come out to the field uh, with homecoming October 1st. Come out and see the SOS band. They're like no others. So please come on out and cheer them on and cheer on the Bulldogs. To our ROTC Bulldog Battalion, under the leadership of Lieutenant Colonel Kareem Fernandez, we thank you for your service and thank you for leading our Bulldog Battalion. Give him another round of applause. And we thank so very much. I was so inspired by our speakers, our uh, soloists this morning. Weren't they remarkable? Please, I think they deserve another round of applause. <laughs> Ms. Aria Mason and Ms. Kayla Adams, we thank you so much for that rendition that you did of the Star Spangled Banner and Lift Every Voice and Sing. And you met the members of the senior leadership team, the cabinet members. I thank them for what they have done, especially over these last two and a half years to get us to this point. Please give the senior leaders of the administration another round of applause. And to all who made this event possible today, the Convocation Planning Committee, would you please applaud them? They're behind the scenes and they're still working. They're sometimes invisible. Another rousing round of applause. In every organized community and society, there are traditions and rituals that mark milestones and special occasions. Today is just one of the traditions of our historic institution, Bowie State University. Convocation follows a long tradition in higher education where we mark the beginning of a new academic year. Here at BSU, Convocation is a day when we shine the light on our newest members of the Bowie State University community and officially welcome our newest students into this community of learners as they embark on the next leg of their educational journey to become lifelong learners. Each member of this community is unique with their own special skills, talents, and attributes. And we know when someone is no longer present in this close-knit community, we feel a sense of loss when someone is missing. Before continuing on with today's ceremony, while this is typically just a joyous time for us to welcome in our incoming students, it is important to note when we know someone is no longer here 
on this journey with us. I would ask today that we recognize and honor a fallen bulldog who we just lost on Sunday morning. Ms. Mariah Narain was lost to us on Sunday morning as the result of a hit and run accident. She was a member of your class. She had just begun classes here at Bowie State University after transferring to us. The Bowie State University campus community mourns her loss, and we want to express our deepest sympathy to her family and friends. And before we move ahead with our ceremony today, I ask that each and every one of you take this moment to reflect on what today means and what tomorrow brings, and honor her with a moment of silence. Thank you, everyone. Abolitionist and orator Frederick Douglass once said, education means emancipation. It means light and liberty. It means the uplifting of the soul of a man into glorious light of truth, the light by which men can only be made free. Frederick Douglass was one of the fortunate few African Americans of his time to achieve an education. He recognized and fought for the idea that being educated was not just a privilege for some, but a right for all. Since its founding in the basement of a Baltimore church in 1865, Bowie State University has remained committed to providing educational opportunities to students who want to achieve and succeed. Today, we carry on the legacy of those who have paved the way, such as Nelson Wells, a former slave who died in 1850, but who saw fit to designate his assets to be used to start a school for training Negro teachers. It is because of strong and determined individuals that BSU has grown into an institution of higher learning that not only prepares teachers, but now offers today students 26 undergraduate majors, 21 master's degrees, 19 post-baccalaureate certificates, and two doctoral programs. Today, we not only continue, we are thriving. A phrase you will hear often during your time at BSU is racing to excellence. This is not only the name of our strategic plan, but a way of life at BSU. Our faculty, staff, and students are working hard each and every day to ensure we achieve the top three priorities of the strategic plan academic excellence, student success, and the long-term viability of the institution. And I know as you get acclimated into the culture here, you will too. I want to take a moment to tell you about some of the many reasons to have pride as our newest Bulldogs. First, and I should ask for a drum roll at this point, but let me bring to your attention and make sure everybody's listening. When you enrolled here at Bowie State University, we were known as an HBCU among the top 25 in the nation. As of Monday, we sent out a press release to announce, last year we were ranked at number 24. This year, BSU is number 18 among the top 20. <laughs> BSU, we are on the move. And BSU has seen a record increase in the number of contracts and grants awarded to conduct research. Faculty and student researchers are working on the cutting edge of technology, new methodologies, and creating new knowledge to address critical social and political issues in our society, including data analytics, restorative justice, social justice, culturally responsive teaching, at this time, I would ask the members of our faculty to please rise and let's recognize them for their expertise and achievement over these last two and a half years, but they are marching on and they are thriving. Thank you to our faculty. I think we can do better than that BSU. These are your faculty.
faculty success, student success at BSU has been marked by the numerous achievements of our students. And if you don't already know, among our Bulldogs is a Tony Award winner who was performing on Broadway in MJ the Musical in the lead role as Michael Jackson. Wherever he is and when he watches this, we want him to know how very proud we are of Miles Frost. Would you give him a round of applause? We have so many notable achievements among our students. And you should take pride, great pride, as a new Bulldog when you consider the excellence achieved toward ensuring the long-term viability of our university. Our educational partners are looking for you for internships and co-ops. Yes, you're just getting here, but there are opportunities that await you with organizations such as Adobe, Apple, BG&E, A&E Networks, BET, and NASA, just to name a few. As you journey, as you journey on at Bowie State University and as you begin, I encourage you to take hold of the baton and continue the race to excellence. Use the challenges of the world as an opportunity to make a difference on issues like climate change, the water crisis, opioid addiction. With the support of your faculty, our faculty, political leaders and social partners, you have the opportunity to be an integral role in shaping the future of our world for generations to come. Take pride and be bold as you plan your future. We will open the door to opportunities here on campus and to start your careers. But what we're asking you to do is be willing to walk through the door and be prepared and determined as Bulldogs. And now, I give you two charges. First and foremost, find your purpose. As a student at Bowie State University, you will have the opportunity to study under these amazing faculty members who will challenge you. Yes, they're going to challenge you. They will coach you and maybe even frustrate you sometimes. But that's what they're here to do, to stretch you and have you reach as high as you possibly can. And in the end, they will help you achieve the vast amount of knowledge and competency that you will need to succeed. Use these skills and your new knowledge to find a purpose for where you belong in this ever-growing and ever-changing global society. Secondly, Bowie State University Bulldogs, I ask that you leave this place better than how you found it. As previously mentioned, you stand on the shoulders of many who have worked to ensure this institution could exist today for you to achieve your goals. And in spite of all the obstacles that we have faced and you have faced to get to this point, we are dedicated to offering to our students, our new Bulldogs and all of our students, an accessible, affordable, and high quality education. We look to you to create and sustain the possibilities for the future of BSU for the next 150 plus years. Are you with me? Let's sound like it, Bulldogs. Are you with me? All right, BSU. In closing, I want each of you to feel at home here. This is your new home, not only during your time as a student, but even after life life's path takes you away from BSU as you move on and you cross that stage at another time in the future when I will hand you that degree. We have a saying around here, once a bulldog, always a bulldog. Know that you are BSU for life. Again, welcome to the Bulldog Family Class of 2026. Where are you? Thank you for becoming a Bulldog. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the stage Student Government Association President, Mr. Chuck Woody Nualu, and GSA President, Mr. Michael McGee. Give me one second. Good morning, Bulldog family. Thank you, brother. 
I am Chukade Nuwalu, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Student Government Association President for the 2022 to the 2023 academic year. <laughs> On behalf of the entire EPIC administration, we, will not, we want to not only welcome you to our Falls Convocation, but to the first HBCU in the state of Maryland, Bowie State University. Here at BSU, you are marking on a new path to excellence, a path that you don't and won't forget. I remember being exactly where you are. I remember thinking, I'm tired, it's early in the morning, but I want you all to take a moment to reflect. Just sit here and think about where you are now and where you was a year ago. Remember all the times in your life when you thought you were the person that you want to be and all the times in your life where you thought you were that person, but you was afraid to be him. Now, forget all those fears. Come back to the present moment. Each and every one of you have an opportunity that you'll never get again. There are individuals who never got the opportunity to apply to college, let alone attend. So seize every opportunity that Bowie State University has to offer. Trust me, we have many opportunities for you. This is the time to reinvent yourself. The reputation that you had in high school, whether it was good or bad, you have a chance to improve it here. Leave all old habits and immature behaviors at high school. As you embark on the journey to higher education, remember to give yourself grace. As we all fall short sometimes on our personal and professional lives. Never forget these next four years are yours. So claim them and make sure nobody takes it from you. Make these next four years utilizing by using the resources that we offer, such as the Career Development Center, the Writing Center, the Advisement Center, and many more assets that BSU has to offer. As a college student, you have to seek the resources that you need. If you see, I'm sorry, if you see me or my executive board walking around, please feel free to ask us questions and we will direct you to where you need to go. As I take my seat, I wanna leave you with these words by Denzel Washington. Without commitment, you will never start. But more importantly, without consistency, you will never finish. So keep working, keep striving, and never give up. Fall down seven times, but get up eight. Ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship. So keep moving, keep growing, and keep learning. This is your time, so make these next four years epic. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Bowie State University. My name is Michael McGee. I am this year's Graduate Student Association President and a proud student in the College of Education, Department of Counseling Psychology program. I would like to first acknowledge the president of Bowie State University, Dr. Amita Bro, honored guests, and the whole Bowie State University campus. I bring greetings on behalf of the Bowie State University Graduate Student Association Executive Board. And we would like to remind all to continue to focus on the boldness that you have inside. Bowie State University has a marketing campaign that speaks to the core of who we are as individuals, as a university, and as a community. We are bold, and we are making bold moves to enhance our education and the way we serve our community. I challenge you today to focus on the individual boldness and ask yourself, what does bold means to you? For me, the B stands for the belief that you have in yourself and your abilities. The O stands for the opportunity to reach back and help others through our service. The L stands for the leadership that we present in all areas of our lives. And the D, well, the D stands for determination to not just start the race to success, 
but to continue until we reach the finish line. And remember, the race to boldness is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but the ones that endure to the end. So in closing, I would like to recite our wonderful marketing team. Here at Bowie State University, we are taking tomorrow boldly. <laughs> I know you've seen the commercials. <laughs> our university brand is our identity. It reflects the essence of the university, the community, and our educational experiences. It lays the foundation for how we tell our story of excellence and achievement. Here at, Bowie, at the Bowie State University, we are taking tomorrow boldly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McGee. You know that commercial, I love that. We are taking tomorrow boldly, that is wonderful. Thank you again both Mr. Nualu and Mr. McGee, and thank you for your leadership and all of your work and efforts on behalf of the student body here and helping us to uphold uh, our motto and our phrase about Bowie Bowl. You are truly Bowie Bowl. Bowie Bowl. Please give them another round of applause. Bowie State University has been privileged to welcome many talented speakers to address our students. Today, I'm happy to welcome a familiar face back to our campus, Ms. Chanel Lauren Turner, class of 2006 from BSU. She is a graduate of the College of Business, and she is in a burgeoning spirit, she's a burgeoning spirited entrepreneur who has reached unparalleled heights within the male-dominated spirit industry. In 2009, at the age of 25, Chanel founded Fodri Vodka by her own direct investment, an endeavor that would soon lead to many firsts for the up-and-coming vodka propri proprietor. Chanel led the company from infancy to a successful launch in New York City in September 2012. She has been instrumental in designing, building, and propelling Foudre brand across the United States and throughout the global market. From its successful launch in September 2012, Foudre has presented itself as a force to be reckoned with in the spirit industry. In its short time on the market, Foudre has received numerous accolades and awards, and Chanel has been featured on local television networks, including NBC, Washington, WJLA, and Fox 5. She has also been a guest on the Tom Joyner Morning Show and appeared in the Washington Post. The Florida native is also the founder of the uh, Bows Fest, the Black-Owned Wine and Spirit Festival, which recently took place in Washington, D.C. A trailblazer, Ms. Turner, is the youngest woman, the first African-American woman, I know a little bit about that, <laughs> to own and operate her own spirit brand. She attributes the foundation of her success to her professors in the College of Business, specifically Dr. Lowry. She attributes the development of time management and money management skills to time spent balancing the demands of being a student athlete with the BSU women's basketball team while completing her degree. For Chanel, it is imperative that the Foudre story be an empowering one for all. Her success thus far in the spirit industry has defied the odds. She has defied the odds transcending racial, gender, and socioeconomic boundaries. Please join me in welcoming fellow Bulldog Chanel Turner as a fall 2022 convocation speaker after the next selection by the BSU, uh, after the next selection under the direction of Professor Latonya Wren. <laughs>
Should the shadows come, why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven? And I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing. And I know he watches me, he watches me, yes, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know Let's hear it for our ladies and gentlemen, right here at Bowie State University. He watches me. Yes. Good morning, good morning. First and foremost, let me thank Dr. Bro and the entire Bowie State staff for welcoming me back to my home, Bowie State University. Yeah. Class of 2026, 20 years ago I sat in your seat. 20 years ago, somebody said to me today, you look like you could be sitting in that seat today. Uh, that youth, yeah, yeah, black don't crack now. Yeah. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I sat in your seat uh, trying to figure out what my next step was going to be, trying to find my place here at Bowie State University. 
As I stand here today, I'm going to take you through my experience at Bowie State and how it's prepared me for all I've been able to accomplish today. I take my journey one quarter at a time, just like I did on the court. You see, being a Bowie State Bulldog wasn't in my initial plan. During the first quarter of my life, I was a high school basketball star who just received a full scholarship to a D1 university. My last three weeks in high school, I learned that I lost my scholarship because the college that had recruited me lost their accreditation. Let me put it to you in another way. Imagine coming down the court with five seconds left on the clock and you hit the winning jump shot only for them to call it off and say it's no good because you stepped out of bounds. I had to make a quick pivot. I had to figure out my next move. Truth be told, prayer and my faith is what brought me to BSU. Now I'll admit, I was a little cocky back then. I felt like I could go to any school and walk on anybody's basketball team. Having lost my scholarship at that time, my only goal was to play basketball for Bowie State University. They say, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And in 2006, I was given an opportunity by Coach Davis to join the women's basketball team. But it's no guarantee that it's gonna be a smooth ride. While I was able to join the team, I had to redshirt my freshman year. Here it was for the first time in 12 years, I found myself not playing basketball, a sport I've been playing since the age of seven. It is the foundation of who I was and I revolved my entire life around it. Even though I could not play, I had to show up and I did. I practiced every day with the team. I showed and proved myself to the coaching staff. And by the end of the season and start of my sophomore year, I was offered a full athletic scholarship on the women's basketball team. <laughs> Needless to say, by the end of the first quarter of my journey, I was up by five points. During my sophomore year, my entrepreneurial mindset really started to kick in. I've had an entrepreneurial mindset since I was a child. I come from a family of entrepreneurs. I started out selling chips and candy in middle school, <laughs> graduated to selling CDs in high school, because that was a little bit more profitable. Y'all probably don't even know what CDs are today, but. <clears throat> I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to be my own boss. Today I stand here before you as my own boss, as the first and youngest African-American woman to own my own spirit brand. This was definitely not an easy journey, being as I'm in an industry that's predominantly dominated by males, white males. There really wasn't a place for women in this industry, much less African-Americans in this industry. I was the first. Bowls Fest was created to enlighten and bring visibility to other African Americans who were spirit owners or spiritpreneurs as we call them. You see, what you see on TV are all the celebrities that are pushing brands, but you never really get to know who owns them. There are a lot of African Americans out here doing great things, and my only goal was to create a platform to highlight them and educate consumers on who they were. During my time here at Bowie, I had the opportunity to be mentored by some of the most brilliant minds academia had to offer. The two people that imprinted on me and had a huge impact on my life were Professor Richard Lowry <laughs> and Miss Willie Huey. Professor Lowry taught me entrepreneurial skills and competencies that I applied to my very own business today. From leadership skills, to business management skills, to just overall critical thinking. 
All those skills are necessary to running your own business. If you have the opportunity to be mentored and taught by him, consider it a privilege. You can't buy the type of knowledge and information he can provide you with. My other mentor was Miss Willie Huey. Now, Miss Huey didn't play. She took myself and 20-something other students under her wing. She not only prepared us for corporate America, but just, the, but just overall life in itself. Miss Huey prided herself on professional development of her children, as she called us. Under her guidance and leadership, I learned the proper etiquette for not only how to eat and speak in corporate settings, but other, other skills such as how to dress appropriately in corporate settings, how to build emotional intelligence, and most importantly, how to be on time. She used to always tell me, to be early is to be on time, and to be on time is to be late and to be late is to be forgotten. You may underestimate the words of wisdom that you will be giving to you during your time here at Bowie State. I know at times I did, but I'm here to tell you today, and I promise you, those words and lessons will carry you through the rest of your life. Someone who looks like me someone who sounds like me, walks like me. The powers to be would say, I was not supposed to be standing in the rooms and circles that I find myself in today. I rub my elbows with the best of them today. Bowie left an invaluable impression on me. I was nurtured, I was encouraged, I was valued, and most importantly, I was given the mindset to go big or go home. During your time here, there's going to be a lot of waves, a lot of hurdles, a lot of ups and downs. Don't settle for the atrocities of self-doubt. The most scary and the most risky thing you'll ever do is to follow your passion. You never know what you're capable of until you're tested beyond. Success is not measured by wealth. Pay close attention to yourself, because the thing is, when you discover who you are and understanding of yourself, that is the foundation for everything else. When you leave here today, when you walk out this room, set a goal for yourself. And in four years, check up on that goal. See what progress you've made. See if your journey has taken you on a different path. No matter what the journey, no matter what the path, always remember to keep your head in the game. Thank you. Bulldogs, let's give Chanel Turner another rousing round of applause. Thank you. It is truly an honor to have you back at Bowie State University. I'd like for you to stay here for just a moment. We want to thank you for your inspiring words and for our new students to hear about your journey. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students, especially this class of 2026, I would like to present you with a token of our appreciation for those inspiring remarks today and to welcome you back, Bulldog. It's great to have you here. Another round of applause. We will now have a musical selection by Carl L. King by the concert band under the direction of Mr. Billy Bennett, director of university bands.
morning, everyone. And thank you, Mr. Billy Bennett and the Concept Band for that wonderful selection. And Chanel, thank you for your remarks. I'm Brian Clemens. I'm the Vice President of Enrollment Management and Student Affairs. And I'm honored to officiate the oath of office for the executive officers of the Graduate Student Association and also the Student Government Association for the 2022-23 academic year. We are very proud of you, and we thank you for your commitment to serving our student body. So at this time, with the executive officers on the stage and those in the audience, please stand and repeat after me. So this is not in the script, but this is amazing just to be able to see you all here. So yeah, thank you all. And I am definitely the vice president who's known we're wearing two masks, right? But I have to take my mask down just to say, I'm just so proud of you all. And hopefully what we're doing today is an inspiration for all these students in this, um, in this gym today. So let's get to business, okay? I, state your name, do solemnly affirm that I will administer my position and state that position with dignity and accountability for the students I represent. I pledge to be innovative in all my interactions Strive for excellence in my duties and coursework and understand inclusive, inclusivity will be woven into my thoughts and ideas as I work with people across all spectrums. I will also use integrity as a guiding principle for my actions. I pledge that I will always hold high the standards of Bowie State University. I also pledge to find strength and take pride in Bowie State University. Congratulations to each of you on your role in serving Bowie State University and our students. Please join me in welcoming and acknowledging the leadership of the Graduate Student Association and the Student Government Association's officers and leaders. Now I'd like to ask Chukade Nualu to welcome the new Bowie State University Bulldogs by bestowing the 2026 Tassel of Faith and Truth.
As the president of the Student Government Association, it is my honor to welcome you into the Bulldog family. During BSU for Life commitment ceremony, held at the BSU Flame of Faith and Torch of Truth, many of you committed your dedication to yourself and our institution. Today, I would like to ask you to accept the 2026 tassel of faith and truth. We will all do this together. First, pick up your tassel. Please stand. <laughs> hold it high, hold it high. Yes, Lord. Second, place the tassel in front of you so you can admire it. Third, finally, close your eyes and remember this tassel as you think about all the hard work and dedication you will commit over the next four years. Now look around at one another and applaud as loud as you can for the class of 2026. Congratulations and welcome to the class of 2026. We now ask that you rise and lock arms with students to the left and right of you for the singing of the alma mater and retiring of the colors. Take your seat and remain seated for the recessional. Thank you very much. Thank you. We now ask that you be seated and remain seated until our platform guests and faculty have exited. Students will begin exiting the gymnasium, starting from the back rows. Please remain seated until your row is called to leave. 
As a reminder, you are all invited to join us for our Bulldog Reception events immediately following this program in the home squad. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for joining us for our fall matriculation convocation. Welcome to the class of 2026. Let's hear it for them. Class of 2026, let them hear you around the world with a big round of applause. We also want to thank our cabinet, our president, our deans, and our faculty and staff, and all of you from around the world. But thank you for joining us today on this special moment. Thank you for all the students enrolled in the College of Arts and Sciences the College of Business, the College of Professional Studies, the College of Education, our ROTC military program, our sports network program, and our graduate studies. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for Bowie State University's Fall Matriculation Convocation, welcoming the class of 2026. Let's bring the house down with a round of applause. 